Today we're going to talk about cleaning our watercolor sets. So at the end of the period, um, we should be cleaning our watercolor sets so that the next person who gets them uh, will feel happy about getting a nice clean set. But sometimes when you grab a set, you'll see that somebody was thoughtless and maybe left some colors uh, mixed in and didn't really take their time to clean their paint set really well. The first thing you should do is clean your lid. Sometimes people like to mix the colors in the lid and that's fine, but that means you need to clean it. And the way you can remove the lid is just by giving it a little bit of a bend in the middle. So you hold the ends and you push down the middle and the lid will release. You just take it to the sink, rub it with a sponge and kind of clean it off. And then to put it back on, you just put one side in, give it a little bit of a bend, and then it will set back on top of it. So we have um, different kinds of brushes that you can be using for your watercolors. Um, we have, uh, these would be like for acrylics normally, but they will work for watercolors. And then you have your traditional watercolor brush. Uh, either one works fine. And this cleaning technique will work with both. So let's say we've got this orange here and it's got some blue in and it just kind of looks nasty. So how do we clean that? Well, first you get some water in your brush and you activate all of the yuck in the set and you go ahead and just rub it around until all of it is sort of in one puddle and it'll look a little bit muddy. Now we're gonna take our brush, wash it off. And this time we're gonna squeeze it gently and get out as much water as we can. And then it will act like a sponge and pick up all of that nasty color in there. And then we're left with a nice orange. Now, if the uh, color was in there very deep, you might have to do this a couple of times to kind of add some water, blend in, uh, any kind of yuck that was there, wash out the brush, squeeze it, and then go ahead and pick it out and you should have a nice clean set there. Um, we could do the same thing with the other brush as well. So um, it doesn't hold quite as much water, so it may take a few tries to kind of get this brush to do it, but that's fine. Activate all the yuck, go ahead and clean out the brush, squeeze it, messy stuff and it's going to take two passes to clean up the messy stuff because again these are a little less absorbent though they do give you some nice details because they'll go to a nice point or they can go to a nice wide line all with the same brush so that's how we clean them up now let's say you're running out of a paint this yellow is pretty much done there's a little bit there this could probably be used for another half a painting but at some point you may need to take out this pan. That's what they call it, a pan. So just use your fingernail to pull underneath the edge and then your teacher can give you another pan to kind of refill it. Now, um, if your teacher has run out of pans, you can do another trick, which is to simply take a bit of uh, watercolors that come in a tube and this can be put right back into the pan and fill it up. And we just let that dry in there for a couple of days and then it will be almost like the other ones. It'll have a little texture at first, but after a while it will wear down and look like all of the rest. So that's how you kind of clean up your set. Now it'd be really nice if we could kind of clean in these areas here and that's not that hard to do. You just rub your brush on it, just like we were doing before. Activate all of that yuck. Just kind of give it a scrub with your brush, clean out the brush and then use it like a sponge and it will start to pick things up. Again, the watercolor brush is designed to hold more water. So we can activate there, squeeze out the brush, and then that will help clean up the set. All right, so make sure that when you're done with your watercolors, you leave them as pretty as you would like them to be received.